Hello, everybody. Another episode of uh, Kelly Adventures. Your host, Jonathan Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No applause. No applause. Alright. So, why do I got this thing of wheat in my mouth? You may ask. I'll show you. I'll deliver it. Hey, it's not wheat. It's hay. I'm delivering hay. There's that guy right there. That's my truck. Well, my trailer truck. Well, I hay on it. All the cows are in these white things right here. White things everywhere. There's a lot of cows. If you have me on Facebook, you saw it. So, you saw the cows. Uh, delivering hay for the cows. Move. Alright. So, um, it's a little windy out here. I hope you you guys can hear me. Um, so today is Friday. My last day. seen them in a month uh, yeah so I'm excited to go home and you know get my own truck and go on my own I'm excited and we got a lot of hay so we'll be here for a little bit we're already here for like two hours so um, yeah I to go home. Uh, let's, start talking about, let's start talking about mountain and trips. Uh, that's what this channel is mainly for. Um, we're going to go three weeks for the trainer. going to be mainly you driving unless for some reason he wants to drive, he wants to drive for whatever reason he might drive for your 34 hour reset so if you're coming into trucking you know, a 34 hour reset will give you all 70 of your hours back because uh, once you're done with 70 hours at the end of the week once you all your, use all your 70 hours you're going to need a 34 hour reset that's when your trainer might drive if he wants to keep moving, which he probably will. So he'll drive, you'll stay off duty the whole time, and uh, you'll get your 70 hours back, and then he'll get back in the passenger seat. And your 70 hours will be you will not have that down. Um, yeah, I had my first 34 hour reset. Tuesday, no Wednesday. It was Wednesday, I think. I think it was Wednesday. Wednesday or Tuesday. So at that time, I was with him for two and a half weeks, and I only used one thirty-four hour reset. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be needing another one because, like I said, my last day is Wednesday. So. I don't know where we're going to be delivering to, but um, most places aren't open on the weekends. So, like, we'll drive, but we'll only get, like, to the nearest truck stop. That's, to the, that's the closest truck stop to the delivery. That's what we'll do. So, um, yeah. Like, it's, it's all just training you how to be out here by yourself and do everything yourself, which is good training, but the fact that they're in the seat with you and, like, they're there for questions, that, that's always good. But the main goal is to teach you how, how to be out here by yourself. So, see, there, 
shit, they running some big farm machines out here. They hauling dirt. This guy's almost done. Halfway. Halfway done. So, um, yeah, their main goal is to teach you how to be out by yourself because we don't do team drives, team drive, uh, team trucks here. We do solo trucks. So, everything is by yourself. So, uh, if you're coming to Melton, be prepared to, um, they're going to tell you, I'm going to, I'm going to give this, give this, um, this, uh, tip right now. If you're coming to Melton, a tip for clothes, for clothes that you bring on the orientation email that they send you. It's gonna tell you bring enough clothes for one week. They're gonna say five days. Bring clothes for seven days for multiple reasons. One, one, you need clothes for the weekend. And you also need clothes obviously to work during the week. So, um, you and your trainer might not wash clothes exactly on the dot every week so um, bring clothes for seven days and within those seven days at some point you'll reach a truck stop that has a uh, uh, washing machines and dryers and showers so bring clothes for seven days they told me in my email bring clothes for five days and my lady saw that email she was like, you should bring clothes for seven days. I was like, why? She was like, she, she was like, um, because you never know. Exactly on the dot every week and I was like I mean I think we will but whatever I, I to, to be honest I just did it just to, um, just to make her happy I just did it just to make her happy and, uh, I come out here and come to find out she's right I found, I found out she's right. We don't always get to a uh, uh, truck stop with um, a washer and dryer every week of the dock. So I wear, I, I brought seven outfits and um, and uh, once I get to like one or two outfits left, or three outfits left, then the next truck stop we get to where we stay for the night that's where I wash my clothes so um yeah that's a good tip bring clothes for seven days and uh, another good tip which really everyone should already have is whenever you can take a shower whenever you can whenever you have an opportunity take a shower because I shouldn't, nobody should have to be explained about hygiene, about your personal hygiene. Nobody should, we should all know about that. We're adults, so. Keep up on your hygiene. Take a shower when you can, because you never know when you're gonna get to your next truck stop that has a shower, you never know. So, whenever you can, just take one. Um, about showers, and when you get to a truck stop, if you're with Melton, the truck stops, the, the fuel um, solutions that they like us going to, the, fuel, the truck stops they like us getting fuel at is Love's, Flying J, 
and um, pilot. But pi- pilot and flying J are like the same thing. So when you get to a loves or a flying J, ask for a, uh, a, uh, a, a flying J card. And when you go on your own, or when you get to a loves, ask for a loves card. And when you go on your own, and they give you, Melvin gives you a, um, a fuel card. When you fuel, if you put more than 60 gallons of uh, fuel in your truck at that time, you get one free shower. And you can build them up. So every time, like, the next 60 gallons you put in, you get another free shower. The next free, you get another free shower. Another free shower. So you can build them up and you can end up with like 100 free showers if you save them. And, um, so yeah, that's a good tip. Uh, uh, what else? Now, free showers. What I do, free showers, if you pay for a shower yourself, if you pay for a shower yourself, it's $12. Um, but like I said, you can get free showers. So, I... I plan on getting as much free showers as I can and then showering, um, showering, using the free showers as much as I can. In the days I don't have free showers, but I want to take a shower, you pay for them. You're not going to be paying that much. Maybe use one, maybe pay for one shower. But um, another tip after I, ju- after I just said, shower as much as you can. Another tip is about saving money for showers and saving free showers is um, uh, on the days that you are working with a load and you're picking a load up. Say you're picking a load up on Monday. You pick a load up that Monday when you stop at a truck stop, you should probably take a shower because you just worked and you're, you probably sweat. And you probably touch a lot of shit. Sorry, I swam. You probably touch a lot of stuff that uh, was dirty and blah, blah, blah. But you worked. At the end of the day, you worked. So you're probably sweating. You're musty and you're disgusting. So that Monday, that night that you just worked, you should take a shower. Now say the load, that load that you just picked up on Monday doesn't need to be delivered until... um. Friday. Yeah, say it doesn't need to be delivered. Delivered. Well, no. Let's say it doesn't need to be delivered until Wednesday. It sounds more realistic. So the load doesn't need to be delivered until Wednesday. So, but you're gonna shower Monday. So you shower Monday. All you're doing on Tuesday is driving. That's all you do on Tuesday is drive. You're not working. You're not touching the load. You're not. You're just driving. Um, so those days that all you're doing is driving and I know it's, it might sound nasty to some people it sounded nasty to me at first but it saves me money because these showers can the price can't rack up so the days that you're only driving I would not shower unless I really want to but that night, Tuesday night, I would probably just wipe you myself because I'm not going to spend money cleaning my whole body if I didn't work. I mean, it sounds, like I said, it sounds disgusting. It sounds nasty. I hate doing it, but it saves me money. So I would just wipe you myself, wipe you the main spots that are disgusting. Um. main spots that like where sweat builds up and hair and must and all that so and then Wednesday you deliver your load Wednesday morning Wednesday morning you deliver your load Wednesday Wednesday morning you deliver your load so you're working because you're touching the load again you gotta unsecure the load and then they're probably gonna give you another pickup on that same day so you're gonna work on 
another load and sweat even more. So Wednesday night you should probably shower. And then do it like that. The days you drive, and all you do is drive. I, I went and shower because those showers can really kill kill your check. And you don't want that. Not out here. You don't want you don't want to be broke out here because shit won't work for you. Um, we're almost done. Just about done. So, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Those are the tips. Um, it's another episode of Kelly Adventures. And everyone, a good day, a good night, and have a good weekend. Love y'all. about my Melvin experience and uh, any more tips that I have to give you about Melvin and about driving trucks out here on the road.